In the first 15 seconds of your YouTube video, someone decides if they want to view your video. So that's why I'm straight up going to tell you that if you shoot a wedding with a zoom lens, it's like shooting a wedding with a hundred different photographers. While you only want to shoot a wedding with yourself as a photographer. Why? Because every focal length of a zoom lens has its own features. So think of bokeh, distortion, uh, sharpness, depth of field, and also no consistency. So that's basically the reasons why you should throw this zoom lens away. Oh no, he didn't. Do not use a zoom lens for wedding photography. And I'm very much behind them. So I think you should, well, I already throw my zoom lens away. And you should too, and just buy prime lenses. That's a fact. <laughs> now let me explain why. That's very important, so you have to give me some time so I can explain myself in this video. And after I explain myself and give you a lot of reasons to throw your zoom lens away, then you can go into the comments, tell me what you like, uh, keep it friendly, keep it... I, I, like the, I like the discussion, but I'm very curious what people say that still want to use zoom lenses after this for the wedding photography. I'm very, very curious. So to get to the point I'm trying to make, you have to understand a couple of things. And first of all, I don't hate zoom lenses at all. I'm just saying, wedding photographers should use prime lenses. Maybe more photographers, but we're talking about wedding photographers. And I've used a lot of zoom lenses. Heck, I got a lot of zoom lenses. I got the 24 to 70, I got the 70 to 100, I got all the, the lenses they say you use for wedding photography. But yet, I never use them. I even throw one away. And to go even a little bit further, I work with Canon. So Canon gives me lenses, I try Canon lenses out. I always use my prime lenses for my weddings. But still, I, I'm a big Canon ambassador, so it would be strange for me to say I don't like zoom lenses. But as a professional, giving advice to you as a wedding photographer, I'm a bit different about the way you should shoot your weddings. So when I started out as a photographer about 15 years ago, I struggled a lot. I struggled with making enough money, struggled with myself as a photographer, having the right consistency as a photographer. It was very difficult. So what I did, I went on the internet, looked for what other photographers do. Oh, they use 2470s, so I bought a 2470. They use 7200, I bought a 7200. You try to do what they do. But that's the biggest problem what photographers do. They do what others do. And now I'm basically telling you what to do, but still, hear me out. Um, I discovered when I was following everyone, it didn't lead me anywhere. Uh, my photography, I think my photography was already okay uh, back then, but there was too much going on that my photography didn't really work. So I decided to buy a prime lens. I really, really thought about it. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna buy a 50 millimeter lens and just gonna check it out what it's doing for me. And that brings me to the first reason why you should use a prime lens, and that's focal length. So every focal length has different characteristics. And that means when I'm shooting with a prime lens, shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, like this one, it always has the 50 millimeter characteristics. So I know what the lens is going to do, it's always the same. When I use a, a zoom lens, the problem is, the zoom lens, let's say the 24 to 70, when I turn the zoom um, ring, it changes from 24 to 28 or 20, uh, 34 or 65, all kinds of different focal lengths. So what happens, every focal length has a different characteristic, so every photo looks very different. So you end up with a photo series from your wedding with a shot with like hundreds of cameras because you get so much, so much, so much different focal length, it just looks different. When you use one prime lens, or in my case I use two prime lenses, so in this case a 35 and a 50, or a 35 or an 85, when I use two prime lenses, I only get two different focal lengths. So there will be way more cohesiveness in your photos because they look all the same. So in my weddings, I use maybe three prime lenses, the 85, the, the 50 and the 35, and that's it. And because I'm doing that, it cre creates so much more consistency in my photos. The second reason is bokeh and sharpness. Bokeh is the out of focus part of your photo, uh, the, 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 the part in the background mainly. We call that bokeh, and the, the quality of the bokeh is way, 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 way better with prime lenses. So the depth of field is looking way better. Uh, no zoom lens can even come close to a prime lens. But also the sharpness of a 
primeness is better. So if you would focus on the eyes, like do a portrait with a shallow depth of field and only focus on the eyes, you get so much more quality of photo than you use a zoom lens. Reason three is the aperture. If you use a prime lens, you can use way larger apertures like 1.2. I shoot most of my photos 1.2, 1.4, 1.6. I never go above 2.0, except when I'm shooting group photos. But for the rest, I'm always low. I'm in 1.2, 1.4, and the stunning depth of field makes the photos so much more pop. If you check out my Instagram, you'll see my photos. And remember when you look at my photos, most photos are shot between 1.2 and 1.8 and most of the time 1.2, 1.4. And then you'll see why my photos look different from other photographers. It's the depth of field. Reason four, low light capabilities. And if you're a wedding photographer, this should sound like music in your ears. Because low light is the biggest problem of a lot of wedding photographers, especially not experienced wedding photographers. When you got a prime lens and you go to a 1.2 or 1.4, there's so much more light than you would use a 2.8 lens. So you can shoot without a flash on your camera and you get so much more natural light going on. It looks so much better. And yeah, of course I use a flash when shooting party photos, but up to, to the party on a wedding, I never use a flash because I don't need a flash because I got a prime lens. <laughs> Reason five, distortion. Already told you about it, distortion. So every focal length of your camera, like a 35, has a different distortion than a 50 millimeters. So for instance, a 50 millimeter or 85 millimeters is perfect for shooting portraits because distortion is quite flat. And if I use a 35 millimeters, it's not the best portrait lens because it's more like a rounding distortion. But I know what the distortion is, it's always the same. If I use this lens, I know what the distortion is, always the same. When you're turning on the knob of your zoom lens, you don't know what distortion you have. So you could F up your photo really, really bad. And that's the biggest problem of zoom lenses. It's so difficult to know which um, focal length you are. You're probably gonna miss the opportunity to photo or don't get most out of the photo. Reason six, consistency. And consistency, I already told you about it, is that every photo looks the same. So if you look at my photos, go to my Instagram or to my website, you can see thousands of photos. All the photos look as they come from me because there's a consistency in all my photos. That's because I use always use the, the same lenses and it doesn't look like I'm using the same lenses. And that's because, that's a very important thing when you're a photographer, when you're a photographer with a prime lens, you have to walk forwards to be um, closer and walk backwards if you want to zoom out. So you're the zoom and not the lens. So you still have the same distortion in your photo, but you choose if you want to zoom in or zoom out. And that's a very important thing. Lazy photographers use a zoom lens and fit photographers use a prime lens. <laughs> that's a very bold statement. I look at my cameraman. That's a bold statement, I guess. Well, fuck it. It's, it's the truth. Don't be a lazy photographer. Be an active photographer. Be fit. So this video has a lot of bold statements and you're probably gonna slaughter me, but give it to me. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind people have opinions and people do something different from me. Um, and I know what people are gonna say. Yeah, but uh, prime lenses are way more expensive to buy a lot of prime lenses. It's a fact, I know. But even cheaper prime lenses are quite cheap and really good. And zoom lenses cheap aren't really good. You have to buy an expensive one. So still, if you wanna use prime lenses, you have to invest. But I'm telling you, if you shoot a prime lens, every person that used my prime lenses will never go back to a zoom lens. No, no one, never. <laughs> Do I have to say something like uh, follow me or something? Oh, my cameraman says, well, so follow me if you like, oh, this guy has some, there's something to tell. If you like, this guy speaks so much nonsense. Don't follow me, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Just do what you like to do. Till next time, bye. <laughs>